How Plants Use Glucose by kscience.com. This here is a leaf. In the leaf are plant cells, where there are chloroplasts. In the chloroplast is where photosynthesis takes place. This is the word equation for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide plus water react and in the presence of light to form oxygen and glucose. So what is glucose used for in plants? Glucose is used in respiration in mitochondria. So the glucose is transported to the mitochondria in other cells around the plant. And the word equation for respiration is glucose plus oxygen react together to form water and carbon dioxide. And this takes place in the mitochondria. So this here is aerobic respiration, which is the complete combustion of glucose in the presence of oxygen. And this releases energy. So there is a release of energy during this reaction. And this process is called aerobic respiration. So glucose is used for respiration. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So let's now describe how glucose is used to form other substances in the plant. So what I'm drawing here are glucose molecules. These are monomers of glucose. The energy that is released by the mitochondria during respiration is used to convert glucose into the polymer cellulose. So what I'm drawing now is cellulose, which is glucose molecules that have been bonded together to form the polymer cellulose. So the energy released by the mitochondria during respiration is used to make bonds between glucose molecules to form cellulose. So the energy released by the mitochondria during respiration is used to make bonds between glucose molecules to form cellulose. And cellulose is used in plant cell walls. So what I'm drawing here are plant cells. These here are the cell walls. I'm representing the cellulose inside the cell walls. So this here is the cellulose that is used to make cell walls in plant cells, plant cells only. So cellulose is used to make cell walls in plants. The cellulose is used to strengthen and support the cell walls of plant cells. Glucose molecules that have been produced from the photosynthesis reaction in plant cells is used to combine with nitrate ions. So this here is a glucose molecule that is being combined with a nitrate ion. So amino acids are produced by combining glucose molecules and nitrate ions. This produces amino acids. So when amino acids are bonded together, they form a polypeptide chain and then a protein. So amino acid chains end up forming proteins. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Plants have energy stores, but glucose isn't stored as glucose. Glucose is converted into lipids. Glucose is converted into lipids. These lipids are then stored in seeds. These lipids, aka fats, are chemical energy stores of the plant. So glucose molecules are also converted into starch. So this is a glucose monomer and the glucose monomers are going to be bonded together to form starch. Starch looks quite similar to cellulose, but they are different. So starch is then stored in different areas of the plant. So if there is a lack of nutrients, the starch can be broken down back into glucose and used in respiration. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.